All right. This next I was saying one... that I was happy that there is a demo that you can play, you know, to see if... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to... I did no, not mean okay. to move on with, with, without you. There's an ad playing right now. So... And the ad is... Nope. Wait, no, the ad is over. Okay, excuse me, guys. Uh, okay, so the next one... Um, excuse me. Okay, so the next one is a VR game. And I include these uh, just to check out, kind of check out the technology. I'm not much into VR games, but um, yeah, we'll see it. Uh, this is a sequel, I guess. I, I've never played the first one, but let's check it out together. We're watching the trailer for her. Asgard's Wrath 2, official gameplay reveal trailer, MetaQuest Gaming Showcase. Excuse me, 2023. Here's your look at Asgard's Wrath 2 in this gameplay reveal trailer for the upcoming VR action RPG as revealed during the MetaQuest Gaming Showcase. In Asgard's Wrath 2, Loki must be stopped. His chaos has corrupted the realm of ancient Egypt and is threatening to tear apart the very fabric of reality itself battle gods and monsters at an epic scale to keep the, his evil from spreading and extract or sorry exact your vengeance for his betrayal asgard's wrath 2 will be on metaquest available on metaquest in winter 2023 all right got a one minute 39 second trailer let's check it out Oculus evil invades all realms. Okay. He must, he must be stopped. See this? 360. We want 1080. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's Loki. But then also Egyptian stuff. Betrayal has made you stronger, Guardian. Okay. So for a VA VR game, this looks pretty pretty cool. Your reality is and the music. Yep. Exact your vengeance and unleash your wrath. <laughs> Play high energy in the trailer. All right, you're playing music to kill people. Okay. I've never played the first one, and I don't have a meta quest or whatever. <laughs> That's Black Sabbath. I actually really like that song. I'm not much into Black Sabbath music, but I just, I like that song. Okay, cool. So I, I, I don't have any idea how much this one is going to cost. Probably, $60. Probably... $60. Did you check already? Yes, yeah, so because I was like, look. Okay, the first one, um, 4 out of 5, 6.8 out of 10, and 4.5 out of 5, uh, yeah, is for reviews, so, I think it looks good for a VR, I mean, like, I'm not much into VR, um, but I think it looks good for a VR game, like, it would definitely, it would, it would be something that VR... Like, as I see games like this coming out now, it, it, it's like VR is not something that I'm willing at this point to take the risk and spend the money to buy the rig and get all that stuff for the games that I've seen so far. But this is like if I was at somebody else's house and they said, hey, check this game out. You want to come, come over and check this game out? I'd, I'd play it and it looks like it would be fun. You see what I'm saying? Especially the riding a horse. <laughs> so, what do you think? No, it looked uh, it looked very good. Uh, I actually really liked the combat. Um, I was trying to find to understand who 
do you play as? Yeah, I don't know. Because I know that you saw Loki, but I don't. You don't play as Loki, so it's just. If this was more like of a God of War thing, you know, because uh, you are half God and half uh, human. And, okay, Loki. Who is okay? Hero? Yeah, you're just a hero. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. What is this? Who do you play as in here? I'll just I'm just gonna type it in like this. Who's the main character in Asgard's Wrath? Heimdall. Heimdall. There you go. Wow. Heimdall. No, no that sure? doesn't make. Yeah, that can't be right. Yeah, that is. Who do you play as? I have to be honest, the kids have just destroyed my background and they're a little <laughs> bit crazy, so just okay, if I just don't hear me talk, you know why. Yeah, that's okay. Set in the no game sees the player assuming the control of a Norse god who is under the tutelage of Loki. Okay, so it doesn't say. It just says that you're just a god. So you're just an Asgardian. Like you're not you're not actually you're not actually like a named Asgardian god, so. Yeah. So yeah, so you're just you're just a god. You're just as an Asgardian who's immortal and has superpowers and stuff like that. So you're not you're not actually anything great. Let's wrap this up here. I'll go through the comments, um, some of the comments here, and we'll we'll get moving because I see that the kids are like messing with you over there. <laughs> okay. Wow. Like a actual shadows on the enemy characters. Okay. Pretty freaking sweet song. No game so far has made me want to try out VR till now. Actually, this did look really cool. Looks awesome, but maybe uh, a little too complicated for me. Uh, read this as Azura's Wrath 2. Still a hyped game. Oh, Azura's Wrath. The game is amazing. It's up there with Half-Life Alex. Uh, for the bristly beard of Odin. For Asgard. You don't play as Loki. Well, maybe you do in this one a little bit, but I, I don't know. It said that you're playing as another another god. I want to check this out. Anyone unfamiliar with the first game? The sequel might beat out Half Like Alex as the best VR game to date. Uh, and again with Loki being evil when he was just trolling for whatever, and only sought revenge when the other gods messed with his children. Also, he's kind of your mentor in the first game, so maybe not totally evil. All right. I mean, so people are saying that it could be the best VR game yet. Um, people are saying that it looks good, like the first one looked good, and now this one has some improvements. So that's really cool. And honestly, I wish there was more to VR so far. So that way, I you know, like if there were more really great games on VR, it would, it would be, you know, uh, a much easier thing for me to invest in getting all the VR stuff and being able to play VR games. But anyway, hey, that's all we've got today, guys. You can check that. By the way, um, you can check this one out. It's coming winter 2023, and it's not going to be on Steam, so I don't know how much it's going to cost. You said $60. There you go. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, but that's what, like I said, that's what we've got today, guys. So for everybody over on YouTube, Ellie, if you'd like to say goodbye. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to talk much on the last video. Um, it was, a, but it seemed like a very interesting and easy game. Not nothing complicated. So yeah, hopefully right. worth the sixty dollars. Right. And well. <laughs> yeah. So for bye. everybody on, so for everybody on YouTube, you guys have a good and goodbye. God bless you all. Have a good day. For everybody on Twitch, let's go to the after show. <laughs> Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.